All right, we begin in a very familiar place with the border crisis. The office of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis confirming they arranged two migrant fights that arrived in Sacramento, California. California is now investigating, and the state attorney general and the governor there, Gavin Newsom, are threatening <laughs> kidnapping charges. I'm sure that'll stick. Holy cow. Peter Ducey live at the White House with details. That's a new one. Ron DeSantis kidnapper? I, that is a new one. We'll see how it plays on the campaign trail. Uh, but here's what happened. There were all these questions yesterday about how these migrants wound up in California. Officials in Florida said they sent them on aircraft. And we've got this video that shows these migrants signing waivers. Officials are telling us that these are waivers uh, where these migrants say they are going voluntarily west. But that is not so, according to California's Governor Gavin Newsom. He tweeted, Ron DeSantis, you small, pathetic man. This isn't Martha's Vineyard. Kidnapping charges, and then he attached to his tweet the kidnapping statute. That's his officials here at the White House look at the immigration picture broadly, and they dispute that things are that bad, at least relative to a few weeks ago. What I can speak to is what we have seen uh, these past couple of weeks since Title 42 has been lifted. We have seen uh, we've seen uh, legal uh, migration go down, go down significantly, and that's because of the plan that this president has put forward. The border has long been a Republican campaign talking point. Now it is a Democratic one, too. Coming at the White House from the left is RFK Jr., who said, At 2 a.m. this morning, I visited the border outside of Yuma, Arizona, where thousands of migrants are crossing the border each week. You have to see it with your own eyes. Hashtag Kennedy24. President Biden does not really engage with his primary opponent very much. In fact, he doesn't really engage with any general election talk these days either, and he doesn't really have much going on today. The only thing on the schedule is a lunch, private lunch, with the vice president, Kamala Harris. Although, for a president who talks a lot about extreme climate issues, it would be surprising if he does not address the thick smoky haze that awaits him outside the window when he wakes up. Back to you. Well, you know, Peter, he doesn't talk to primary candidates, opponents. Uh, he doesn't talk to the press. He doesn't talk to you, except when you yell at him. And uh, always happy to have a chance to yell at him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, sometimes he yells back. Sometimes he does. All right, yeah. Peter, thank you very much. That's considered yeah. a one-on-one -on -one interview these days. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, he does not do press White conferences. House is good with that. All right, he does not do one-on-one -on -one interviews, doesn't do much press, press conferences. He stops his day at 4 o'clock, starts at 10, and no one likes to bother him on the weekends. Bankers I love hours. that job. But it, the video is funny when all the reporters are yelling questions at him, and he just smiles. smiles. And I, it makes me laugh every time. I, I don't. It gets me I, aggravated. It makes me mad, too. I mean, he should be answering the questions. But yeah. his reaction is just, you can't help but right. be like, are you kidding but, me? But this is our president. But it's almost smug saying, you yeah, can't do anything totally, about it. Totally. Yes. Right? And he gets away with it. Uh, the cover of the New York Post, look at this. It's the Adams family, and the story is <laughs> what about... What a clever title. Yeah, I know. The story is that the mayor here in New York City says, you know what? I'm going to look into seeing whether or not... I I can have a family of migrants stay at Gracie Mansion with me, if it's possible, and just invite them in. Well, because he's saying, he asked, he asked all of the New Yorkers, he said, if you have a spare bedroom, open right. it up to the migrants in right. your house. I'll give you $40. I'll give you, I'll give you money, and then maybe sure. if you're worried about your mortgage payment, this will help. Because Gracie is apparently a sanctuary mansion. Uh, there you can see some more migrants come in in the last couple of weeks. The, the, I, I held up the New York Post because inside on the op-ed page, they've got a great article, and the headline is, RFK Jr., which Peter was just talking about, has the White House sweating, and rightly so. They go into write, more of it is the record inflation, soaring gas and energy costs, and declining real wages, plus the border nightmare, botched to get, uh, Afghan uh, bug out, and rising racial, social, and political division. All problems that Biden's fed when he hasn't directly caused them. Sure, Biden's allies, allies may take down RFK by harping on his oddest views, and he does have some, but that won't stop the challenger from flagging Joe's disasters. And plenty of Democrats will flock to a guy who vows to seal the border 
whatever else he says. And so you got RFK going to the southern border, unlike our president, who I think has been there once. Yeah, and the article talks about how well he's doing in the polls. I mean, mm -hmm. granted, he doesn't have the numbers like like Biden, but he's given him. It's just shocking that someone else would run against the incumbent and get 20 percent at this point when we're more than a year out. Um, and then he also goes to the border and says we should have closed the borders. We should expand immigration. He told John uh, Katsimatidis that on WABC 7. Right, uh, yeah, WBC 77 uh, uh, AM oh, radio. 770. 770. Yeah, 770. Uh, he was actually fighting for AM radio yesterday on Capitol Hill. The Cats but, round table? Yes. Uh, so RFK Jr. comes out and says, here he is, 2 in the morning. This is what I'm seeing outside Yuma with thousands of migrants across him. Got it. So this guy, Aaron Reichlin, writes this. Kennedy's claimed that most migrants never seen or heard from again because they're supposed to check in. Mm -hmm. is a falsehood. Nothing could be further from the truth. Migrants overwhelmingly fulfill their obligations. And they'll Bill Malusian, after he's getting done filling in for Bill Hammer, tweeted this out in reply. The notice to report process was discontinued that he was referring to. Uh, they were asked to check in with ICE in a city of choosing within 60 days. There were no shows. The process is a failure. Go ahead, challenge Bill Malusian on the reality on the border. And this is what's called, whatever you think of RFK, if he wants to know what's wrong, he goes and sees it. If you asked him about vaccines, the biggest debate over the last two years, he studies it. He wrote a book about Anthony Fauci before we really knew anything about Anthony Fauci outside his work that he was reported to have done for AIDS. So if you want to know where he stands, he's against the Ukraine war. Uh, you know what, at the border, why? Well, he has his son fighting in the Foreign Legion that gives him reports. So I don't care what you think, at least he's hands on to find well, out the answer. What's refreshing answers. too is to see that video of him at the border instead of every Democrat that you talk to too scared to say that they don't like what's going on at the border right. because they in their mind think they have to be talking points have the talking points of all the progressives mm -hmm. and so it's refreshing to see a moderate common sense Democrat actually going down there with the border wall behind him he doesn't have to go along with everything the progressives say and tell right. him to say and that's what we we thought we were going to get opposite with Joe Biden we thought it was going to be a moderate a lot of people said it's a referendum on well, Trump. That's, how he he ran. Ran. that's how he ran and then he changed on day one one, closed down the pipeline, changed so much for all of us, and refuses to go down to the border. Do you know what, you know what else he's doing? He, there's a story today out that he's telling Pentagon uh, uh, vendors, if you want to sell us any equipment, you have to tell us your carbon footprint. So not only are we not getting the best planes quickly, the best rockets effectively, uh, the best systems uh, in the most expeditious way possible, they have to first be green uh, friendly. How right. crazy is and that? And did you see that well, builders can't get transformers now because yeah. of his green energy? So if you're building a house, you can't connect to the grid right now. They're having problems is, with that. Is that insane? He's going after your ovens and your furnaces, and he's now telling the Pentagon when we can't even arm right. Taiwan with contracts that have been ordered two years ago, he's going to gum it up even worse by putting ridiculous green restrictions on the missiles out to right. take out our enemies. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.